Welcome home, brave heroes. I'm Ash, this is Ash Quest, and it's time once again for Tome Tuesday and the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. A fighting fantasy game book in which we are the hero, and we are Sir Pan, ready to come back and tackle the evil within Firetop Mountain. We left off last time on page 54. You are standing outside a door at the north end of a north-south passage. To go south, turn to 308. To go through the door, turn to 179. Well, we're going to go ahead and turn south because we've already finished slaying the dreaded Minotaur, and it was brought to my attention that Sir Pan didn't even use his crescent shield during that fight to reduce the amount of stamina that he lost. I attribute that to Sir Pan's honor. He tossed the shield down in an effort to fight fairly his opponent, his opponent being an honorable minotaur, a beast man, something that cannot help its actions, it cannot help its instincts, it's in its nature. Enough of that, let's go to 308. And I believe we will probably be able to escape this maze today. At least that's the goal. Today we are escaping the maze of Zagor. You are standing in a crossroads. To the west, the passageway goes on a few meters and turns northwards. To the north, the passageway ends in a door. To the east, the passage continues and eventually turns southwards. That's where we're going now, to the east, turning to 354. That will actually lead us here to the passage that I have, as of yet, unmarked. You are standing at a bend in the passage where you may either go west or south. To go south, turn to 52. If you want to check for secret passages on the way westwards, I could turn to 14, or secret passages as I go south and turn to 234. This time, I think I'm just gonna turn to 52. We're not gonna worry about secret passages this time, but I'll probably leave myself a bit of a note at any rate. So here we are, and you are standing at a T-junction where a passage to the east comes off a north-south corridor. Okay. Okay. Kind of wondering if this is linked up to here at all. If this should be here. I'm not totally sure. That would be absolutely wild if that was the case. I hope not, though. I haven't been writing down the page numbers at the junctions on the map or anything like that. It would have been a really intelligent idea to do a long time ago. But let's go ahead and turn the page. We can go south, we can check for secret passages on the way southwards, go north, or check for secret passages on the way northwards, or go east. Let's go south and see if the see if the description doesn't lead us to this. And I hope it doesn't. Let's do that. Se d d d go south, 391. That does feel familiar. That does feel familiar. Ugh. Some of these passages look really exciting. You are at the south end of a north-south corridor. Looking northwards, you can see a passage coming off from the east wall. Do you want to go up this passage? If so, turn to 52. I do think that that's what that is. I'm going to go... I'm going to go east and see if that is... Oh, that turns to 52. That turns to 52. You see a passage coming off from the east wall. That turns to... I was just at 52. Hold on. Did I... Did I read that incorrectly? Let's go back and find out real quick. Standing at a T-junction where a passage to the east comes off a north-south corridor. I wanted to go south. I turned to 391. Oh, I simply went to the wrong one. This is 391. This is... Th no, no, that's the one I went to. <laughs> okay, that's if I look northwards. I could go up to that passage. Um, but I could go south following a bend to the west by turning to 48, and I, th I think I have it figured out finally. I think I know what's going on here. You're in an east-west corridor. If you go east, you will turn a corner northwards to go this way. Turn to 391. To go west, turn to 60. I think if I turn west, I'll go here. And if that's true, you walk along the corridor only to find the way westwards is blocked by a heavy portcullis. You walk back to where you were, turn to 48. That's it. That's it, my friends. I have found the loop. I have found the loop. The loop is here. The loop is here. The loop is here. This 
is our map thus far. We now know that when we come out of our portcullis dead end, if we go right, well, that's a dead end that only leads to an empty room <clears throat> where we had some dwarvish friends playing cards and we, we enjoyed a game with them. Uh, but we could also, we could also head west, south, west, southwest, north in order to reach this door here. I believe that's where we have to go to further our exploration. But I think the maze of Zagor probably ends around this area. I should have wrote down the directions that the dwarves gave me, but I think they were telling me to go this way anyway. So now let us travel to the west once more for the last time, because we'll have no reason to return back to these junctions whatsoever. And we'll go ahead and should we go ahead and turn the corner northwards? Go north and take that now, because that's the long route. That's the long route to get to the exact same place. So we'll go ahead and um, turn to 391, which will get us here, here. And this just goes to show the drawing of the map is absolutely necessary because it was very difficult for me to visualize this. So now I'm here and going up the passage to the east will only take me to this very, very short corridor and room off to the side. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and check for secret passages as we walk up northwards, turning to 362. That is going to show us once again the door that heads to the west. As you try the walls of the passageway, a secret door opens up along the west wall, turn to 177. Yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. That is the door that leads down the west corridor. You're standing in a north-south passage to the north, so you can see a passage off to the east to investigate, turn to 52. Not worried about that. I should probably, however, should should probably reflect that it's a little bit more northwards than it is, just in case I get knocked out. And there we go. Knocked out and dropped in the corridor again. And where was I? Here it is. To investigate, turn to 52. To the south, the passage turns westwards. You may go to the southern end of the passage by turning to 391. And the west wall in front of you is a secret door. To go through this, turn to 175. We'll do that. You are standing in a narrow corridor. Behind you is a secret door to the east. Ahead of you is a crossroads. To go through the door, turn to 177. To walk to the crossroads, turn to 267. That's going to bring us here. So, 267 is the approach going to the crossroads right here now you are standing in a crossroads to go south turn to 246 and we'll do that right now 246 you set off along a cobbled passageway it swings west then south and west again till you find yourself at a three-way junction this is 246 246 to go north turn to 329 we're almost at the new content 329 and whoops passed right by it here we are you set off and find yourself in the middle of a north south passageway there is a door in the western wall of the passage opposite the door is a passage going off eastwards to the north you can see a door some meters ahead to the south you can see a junction which will you choose the door to the north turn to 392 yes let us open the door you're in a north south corridor you may either go northwards through a large wooden door turn to 206 or south a bit redundant some of these passages i wish they weren't but we'll turn to 206 to go through the door now watch passage 206 will say something like you're standing right in front of the door with your hand on the knob behind you is the south now here we go <clears throat> beautiful Beautiful. You enter a large square room. In the center of the room is a gray-haired old man sitting at a desk. His desk is covered in papers and parchments of various sorts, and he holds a long quill pen. Lovely. Large room with quill pen. He is surrounded by books. Thousands of them line the shelves around the walls from floor to ceiling. As you enter, he looks up at you. Will he recognize you? If you have been in this room before, turn to 284. If not, turn to 341. I see. 
I see. I have not met this man before. 341. The old man glares at you as you enter the room. You may either apologize, explain that you lost your way, and leave through either the door in the west, turn to 46, or south, turn to 392, walls. Or alternatively, you may try to talk to the old man. If you want to talk to him, you can either be pleasant, or you can demand that he answers your questions. Well, that's very interesting, because the way I drew this map, it looks like the west passage connects directly to this room, and I hadn't explored this passage before, so I bet you that that goes there. Oh, man. I love this maze, but I hate this maze. Well, Sir Pan, I think we all know, is a rather pleasant individual. He's somebody who doesn't just come barging in and demanding answers. He tries to see if there is a need that can be served by his presence. And so, we will be pleasant and turn to 220. He is enraged by your pleasantries. He waves his hand in the air, mumbles a few strange syllables, and then points at you. You feel your head spinning and pass out. You awake in a dead-end passage. Turn to 171. No! No! Being kind has punished Sir Pan. He awakens, <coughs> coughing in the corridor. His head feels funny. It's not the first time. It's not the second, third, fourth, or even fifth time his head has felt funny and in slight pain from being in this place. It's just part of the trials now. It just is what it is at this point. So, we are standing at the north end of a short north-south passage. You are at a dead end. To investigate the wall, turn to 337. To go southwards, turn to 187. I know exactly where we are. We have to be here. We have to be right here. It's a north-south passage. We don't have a uh, visibility of the west just yet, but we can investigate the north wall. This has to be where we are. I'm going to leave and go southwards by turning to 187. I'm not even going to worry about mapping. I feel pretty safe about this. Uh, you're standing in the corner of a bend in the passage. To the north, the passage ends in a dead end. To investigate this, turn to 171. To go eastwards, turn to 308. That's not what I thought would happen, actually. I am now not totally sure where I am. But we will go eastwards and turn to 308. You are standing at a crossroads. To the west, the passageway goes on a few meters and turns northwards. To the north, the passageway ends at a door. To the east, the passage continues and eventually turns southwards. This is where we are. We're in front of the Manitar's room. Looking south, the passage goes as far as you can see. Let's try this again. We'll go to 160 and turn south. That's where we are. That's where we are. Hopefully I didn't misunderstand something and turn to the wrong page. If I have, I'm sure somebody will let me know, but I'm pretty sure this is where I ended up being, right here to the west of the Minotaur room in the passage that turned slightly north. I should have wrote that down. You follow a long, narrow passageway, which goes south, then east, then south again, till you find yourself at a crossroads. Turn to 267. That is where I am. We already know that I can reach 246 from 267, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and turn to 246, because there will be no other happenings between those pages. This would have been one of the things that would have helped me greatly, and it would have saved a lot of time if I went ahead and did that while I was navigating this maze. You set off along a cobbled passageway. We will go north by turning to 329, and I'll go ahead and write that down here as well, 329. So 329, and then this is where we find ourselves in the middle of a north-south passageway. We're going to go to the door in the north. Oh, it says that there's a door in the western wall of the passage. Oh, I see that now. Right, right, right. That is a door. We're going to go to the door to the north by turning to 392. This time the old man's going to recognize us. Going to recognize us. Again, you're in a north-south corridor. You may either go northwards or south. Of course, I'm going northwards 206. And just in case this nonsense happens to me again, we're going to write 206 on this room. Because if at any point during my adventure I get to page 267, I know I can just go straight to 206 without any event. You enter a large, square room. In the center of the room is a gray-haired old man sitting at a desk. His desk is still covered in papers and parchments of various sorts, and he still holds a long quill pen. Bit of feedback there. I apologize. He is still surrounded by books. There are still thousands of them, lining the shelves around the walls from floor to ceiling. As you enter, he looks at at you again. Will he recognize you? If you have been in this room before, turn to 284. And I have. 
So 284 it is. Here I am, 284. You again, says the maze master, obviously annoyed at being disturbed. You are disturbing my concentration. Be off with you. You begin to explain that you only returned by mistake, but as you open your mouth, an icy glare from the old man silences you. You decide to leave him to it. To leave by the west door, turn to 46. To leave by the south door, turn to 392. Fine. Fine, maze master. We will leave by the west door and turn to 46. At the very least, I'll have furthered my maze navigation. 46. What a rude man. You are standing in a short east-west passageway with a door blocking the way to the east. To the west, the passage turns southwards after several meters. To go around this bend, turn to four. Tempted to go back into the room and bug him again. But, actually, that's 206, right? Yes, that's just 206. It wouldn't make any difference. Go around this bend, turn to four. We'll go around the bend. We'll turn to four. You find yourself in a north-south corridor. To the north, the passage turns east. To investigate, turn to 46. To the south, the passageway also turns east. Turn to 332 to go south. And that's what we'll do. I'm beginning to think I'm not going to escape this maze this year. I can still see passages on my map that have been, as of yet, unexplored. And I think that we will end up doing that. We are verified to be here. Let's go to 329 this time. That's the door, actually. We're going to look westwards. No, 329 is where we want to be. 329 is this junction. And then we are going to go eastwards, which will turn us to 299. 299. And then the passageway runs east for several meters and then runs north. Each Walk a long way northwards. You may check for secret passages along the way or simply proceed northwards. I'm just going to go northwards. No secret passages for me. 359. Sir Pan's head still aches a bit from one of his last secret passage search endeavors. You are at a crossroads. Here I am at this crossroads. Finally, this is 359. We write that very tiny, but right here. Now, if I go north or east, these are different things that I have not done before. Uh, let's go east and turn to 121. This will be fun. This will be new. This will be this will be great. The corridor goes east for several meters, then south, then east again, where it finally ends. Oh, great. So it pretty much ends right here. Will you investigate the dead end, turn to 103, or return to the crossroads, turn to 359? I think we're just going to return to the crossroads this time. To 359 we go. I'm certain we have avoided many dangers. This time, we're going to go north and turn to 190. I have a strong feeling, very strong feeling. We are so, so close to being done. You're in a narrow north-south corridor. There is a dead end to the north. You may check the dead end, turn to 167, or give up and return to the crossroads. There we go. Dead ends all around us. No, nay, uh-uh, zero, zilch, nada, we're not doing that. We're going back to the crossroads at 359. I am content with the amount of mapping we have done here. I want not to do more. At this crossroads, we will go west by turning to 385. We travel westwards for several paces, then the passage turns to the north. Some way up, you reach a junction. You may go south by turning to 114 or west by turning to 297. The passage ends shortly at a dead end. If you wish to go up here, turn to 398. And I will, because it's going to be fine. There is a secret door here, and we are turning to 398. You feel around the rock face at the end of the passage. One rock comes free and reveals a small knob. Will you push it or pull it? I can't remember what I had to do. Push by turning to 364. As you push the knob, a small stone doorway slides open. Uh, we'll climb through by turning to 373. I really like how this says you must make your decision quickly as the door shuts of its own accord in a minute's time, but really you could just set the book down and walk away and get some tea. Go to the restroom, wash your hands, flush, come back, pick up your book. Several minutes will have passed by then, and then... Uh, this passage will actually have changed. It will say that the door has closed because you took too long. Wow, magical books. Who would have thought? Uh, let's turn to 373. Cease this nonsense. 
You are at the south end of a north-south passageway at a dead end. If you go northwards, you will reach a crossroads. Turn to 85. So close. We're so close. I'm so happy about this. You're at a crossroads. Now, this crossroads is this one here. We're going to mark 85. If, for any reason, I end up at any of these pages that I've marked previously, I'll know that I can get to 85 without event, so I can just go to 85 next time. But I have the choice here to go north, south, east, or west. I've already been south and west. I'm going to choose to go east by turning to 318. I have a feeling it's going to tell me that there's a dead end. The passageway ends in a dead end. <laughs> you may either return to the crossroads or search for secret passageways by turning to 228. It feels like I'll get lucky this time. Let's turn to 228. Sir Pan's feeling pretty good. He's feeling okay. I think he's ready. You find no secret passageways. You are careful not to make too much noise in case you attract any wandering creatures. You stop and listen but cannot hear anything. You return to the crossroads. Turn to 85. Wow. Our luck has finally paid off. Finally paid off. There are no, no passages there. We can now go north by turning to 106. And my friends, we have finally, finally finished this ridiculous maze here. 105. Wait, not 105. 106. The passageway ahead runs northwards for some time. You may rest along the passage to eat provisions. It then bends to the west and begins to get quite narrow. And my friends, it bends to the west and begins to get quite narrow. We are almost ready to begin our third page of mapping. You reach a small rocky arch, which you will have to stoop to get through. On the other side of the arch, you pause and look around. You are in a large cavern, which disappears into distant blackness. The cavern is partially lit by natural light which streams in through a hole in the roof. You cannot see a way through. Yes, 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 yes. It's time. It's time. We're not going to start the map here. We're going to start the map about right here. Just to give me enough room. An archway and a large cavern. Probably didn't have to draw that big on my new map already, but we will do that. As you shine your lantern around the cavern, you hear a rumble. A dull glow flickers in the blackness. Suddenly, a jet of fire shoots from the depths of the cavern, narrowly missing you and singeing the mossy growth on the wall. You throw yourself onto the ground and look up to see a large dragon stalking out of the darkness towards you. Smoke curls from its nostrils. Its scaly red skin glistens with an oily covering. The beast is some 15 meters long. How will you attack the creature? to draw your sword or search your memory for another means of attack. This, my friends, is the battle Sir Pan has been waiting for. And we will see exactly how this battle will pan out when we next return to the Warlock of Firetop Mountain next Tuesday. If you have enjoyed this content, I hope you'll check out my other videos. I do a lot of other kinds of content as well. And Tuesdays are now routine for reading adventure books. I have a lot of adventure books to read, including Final 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 Fantasy, including Fighting Fantasy, Lone Wolf, Fabled Lands, and Hero Quest, and they'll all make their way onto Tome Tuesdays at some point. So if you like this content, do subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to help out the channel, just go watch a few more videos. Make sure you like, comment anything you'd like down below. We didn't have to roll a single die this episode, but next episode, I have a feeling is going to be combat heavy. So we will wish Sir Pan luck as he readies himself, steals his nerves to face off against this giant dragon, and we'll see where this goes next week. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye for now.